turn your Bibles to the book of Daniel, the third chapter. We want to get a few little thoughts out of the chapter this morning. I'd like to uh, teach a little bit this morning, and I might claim on this thought, there is peace in the fire. And uh, this is uh, concerning the three Hebrew children and Nebuchadnezzar. And Nebuchadnezzar had already had a, a great experience with a dream that he had and found out that Daniel could do it. And, but still, he went back to his old ways and he uh, built him a little statue about five or six foot high and wanted everybody to worship it. Of course, he was enticed by the people around him to encourage him to make this uh, agreement, so we want, this is what we want to look at this morning, but in verse 1 of chapter 3 of the book of Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, sent together together the princes and the governors and the captains and the judges and the treasurers, the counselors and the sheriff and all the rulers of the province to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king set. And so we see here that he's very proud of this little image that he's fixed. Right. And uh, it's a type of the world. And uh, our world is, is proud of the laws that it makes and of the ways that it tries to twist uh, Christians' arms to follow them and make them right. uh, do things that they are uh, are not satisfied with and, and are not pleasant doing. And this king, uh, uh, he was he was very a very strong king. And in verse uh, 4 it says uh, here that, or in verse 3, then the, then the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, Sheriffs, all the rulers of the province were gathered together unto the dedication of the image of Nebuchadnezzar the king is set up, and they stood before the image Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a herald cried aloud, Unto you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that what time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the saxophone, the sorcerer, the gulfman, or all kinds of music, fall down. Worship the golden image Nebuchadnezzar set up, and so we see here this morning. This was the this was the problem with the children, the Jewish children, that had come down with Daniel, and uh, they uh, did not worship idols. They did not worship any kind of image or anything of this nature, and they knew it was against their uh, God to worship any other God but, but Him, and they. Uh, knew for a fact that they weren't going to do what that Nebuchadnezzar had uh, ordered or what that all the, the they had passed this law and her and made this uh, commitment to, uh, to the Nebuchadnezzar that they would do this thing and they knew they weren't going to do it and uh, today it's about the same situation that Amen. we're facing uh, we have all of these things that are coming to pass, are coming to our Congress, our Senate, and they're being passed, and we we know for a fact that so many of them is against God's uh, uh, laws and against His the, the way that He teaches in His Word to do yeah. these things, and uh, you can you can just look at them and you can just see the, the, the uh, devil pouring out of it because we know deep in our hearts and our souls that it's wrong to kill uh, innocent children, it's Amen. wrong to uh, steal and to rob and to do things of this nature, and but yet they're making laws that will eventually do the same thing to us as it did to, never, uh, to the people there at Nebuchadnezzar that day, and they will or they will eventually uh, force us to or try to force us to do these things. Right. And uh, this, to me, is is a good example of what we're facing. This is a good example of how that we need to understand God's Word and how that we need to be the 
together and to pray to God that he will lead us through this because there is a fire uh, in the way. And listen, uh, it's a hot fire because the thing of it is they're using things that uh, we uh, we have to have. We're, they're using things against us that uh, is needful for us to do, but yet we have to be dishonest and corrupt in order to get all this stuff, and so we can't do it. Even though we need some of this other stuff that we really obtain, we still cannot do these things. And so here in verse 6 he says, and whosoever shall fall not down and worship shall the same hour be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, at that time, when you all the people hear the sound of these, and I've read them all, uh, before, but when you hear these and uh, you don't fall down, he says, uh, here and worship this golden image. Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spake and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. And they were buttering the king up that knew that they had blindsided him. And, and if he had knew the end results of this, I don't believe that he would have ever uh, let it went this far. But anyway, after he had done, made a, uh, uh, a this to be a law, he had to go with it. So we see, uh, and I want to get to the, I want to get to the other part, but we need to bring this up to you, and, and, and because these are the things this morning, if we will look out in our, in the past days, and the future days, you can see them approaching. You can see these things coming Amen. towards us, and listen people, it's not going to be long, it's not going to be long, and I probably, praise the Lord, I probably won't even be here. But listen, you'll see these things that uh, that these doors right here will be locked and this building will be closed because that we stand for uh, things like uh, against abortion and things of this nature. It's on it's on its it's on its way, and so this has got to uh, this has got to happen in order for the end times to come. But it's going to happen, and here I believe this was is is an example for us that we can get ready for this thing to come because we more than likely will be in our homes or uh, maybe in, a, in an old building where nobody can uh, think about finding us, but we're going to be there uh, praising the Lord and Amen. praying to Him and asking Him to guide us and lead us, protect us and things of this nature. But here, here he says here in, in verse 10, uh, or nine, they spake and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet and flute and all, all of these musical instruments, and whosoever falleth not down and worship, that he should be cast into the midst of the burning furnace. And they wanted to make it very clear that the king had put his approval on it, and they were back in the king. And it's the same way with us this morning. Hey, this Congress and the Senate and all this gets up there and they pass these laws and then the President has to uh, uh, try to do what he has to do. But listen, most of the time the, the our President cares less uh, in, 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 in that fact. And they don't, they don't try to uh, help with anybody. Because the sin is on the bound, because it's, it's so strong this morning, listen, everything has got a, a forward movement and it's moving just like a, 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 a volcano or something and it's taking everything that's in its way right. and, and uh, that's the way it's going to be. And so or if, if things don't happen, if things don't change. But now look in uh, verse 12. And there are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now this was their, this was their big problem. He had, he had, Daniel had uh, come in and, and give this king uh, uh, what he wanted to hear about the dream, and he identified him and all of this. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were with him, and they despised, they, they despised the Jews ever since there was a thing called a Jew. They despised them, and they will continue to despise them as long as the world stands because it's God's chosen people. And the, and the world hates God's people. The world hates anything that loves God. And this morning, uh, we see it here. They hated Shadrach.
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he says here that in, in uh, verse 12, these are the ones, and he says, and these men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do ye not, do not ye serve my God, nor worship the gold image which I have set up? Now if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of these instruments, he says that you uh, that you that you fall down and worship, but if you worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning fire and furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of his hand? Now, Nebuchadnezzar had already told Daniel, he he said, when you when he when he foretold his dream. He said, your God is the God. I, and, 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 but the thing of it is, Nebuchadnezzar never did really want to worship the God of, of Daniel and right. them. So here he said, he said here, if it be so, this is Shadrach and Meshach, and after they had heard what uh, he had said to them, he says, if it be so, well, in verse 16, Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego answered and said, to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. And listen, this morning, this should be our attitude this morning towards sin, and we should be bold, and we should be able to uh, tell anyone about the Lord Jesus Christ. We shouldn't be ashamed of them. And listen, to these things that are going on out here in the world, we should be able to stand up and, and, and take a stand against them, because they said here, we are not careful to answer thee in this manner. We're, we're, we're not going to waste words with you, uh, O king. He said, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning furnace. Amen. And he will deliver us out of the, thy hand, O king. And listen, this is the thing this morning that we, this morning, should get in within us and understand. But he said in verse 18, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods. Amen. We will not worship these idols. We will not go out there in this world and grasp onto everything that, that looks like money or looks like anything that we can use to better ourselves. We will not, we will not bow down to, to these to this old, this king and, and to this idol. And he says nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. So they made it very plain that, listen, that if, if God if God don't take care of us in this and, and, and we have to die, that's all right. Right. And listen, this morning, the world has got it out there to offer us. They're, they're out there and they're saying, here it is. All you've got to do is reach out and take it. But listen, you've got to get away from this old religion. You've got to get away from the serving the God, and listen, it's all yours. I'll give it all to you. And the devil himself has got charge over this world and all that he has, and he says, hey, here it is. Come get it. But listen, the end of that is hell. Right. The end of it is death eternal. And so we don't need to, we don't need to get our eyes fixed on the things of this world, but we need to do what they did here and say what they did he said, but if be it known unto the old king, we will not serve thy gods. Amen. And people, that's 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 this morning. What we're we're being faced with this morning is that they're offering us, they're offering us these things to keep those doors open. They say, Yeah, I don't we don't care if you'll bring the Muslims in, if you'll bring the uh, all the alt brands in and, and anything that's against God. That's fine. You can you can have your worship. You can build any kind of church you want to, any size and factor business. We've got funds that will help you build. That's it. But listen, they're 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 stink. Mm -hmm. They're 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 of the devil. And and this is what the, the three Hebrew children understood. So notice what Nebuchadnezzar, and this is our government. 
Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and his form, uh, the, and the form of his vintage, vision, that's his face, was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one time seven more than it was won't, it won't, will, will be heated. And what he's saying is that here, they heated the furnace seven times hotter. One of the furnaces seven times hotter than, and, and than it was supposed to be heated. Right. Now, why would he do that? With all his fury and all this, listen, and it's the same thing in our case this morning. What does the government want to do to us? What does the, those that are uh, offering us all of this stuff, they want us to humble themselves down to, to, to them, and they're going to put the pressure there. It's already there, and they've got everything in their hands, and they've got the buttons that they can push, and the law is behind them, and we must obey the law according to them. And, and, and But the thing of it is, if, it's, if the law is not right and it's against God's word, people were not required to serve, to, to obey it. But here, he says here, and he, in verse 20, and he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the fiery furnace. And you can see the rage in the king's, uh, uh, these words, how that the king was raged and he over how he overreacted and all of these things. And uh, he says, and, he, and after he commanded them, uh, that, that furnace to be that away, then he got the strongest men in his army. Now, you can tell by this, hey, what kind of pressure he's putting on these. Right. Why? It, 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 I mean, but to emphasize the thing that he, the strongest men in his army, to do this thing. Now, then these men were bound in their, uh, these um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and the, their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning furnace. Therefore, because the king's command was urgent, and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flames of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But you see, the thing was here, you can see the presence of God. These men, they're strong men in all this, but they, they didn't even take time to take their clothes off of them. They bound them up and throw them in that furnace. Well, listen, God is going to show them a thing here that uh, is, a, is, is something that they need to understand and see. But, but the, the, the men that forced them on the way, they died. But Shadrach and Meshach and Mendigo fell off in that fall. Now, Notice what here, what, what, what happens. And these three men met, shed, fell down bound into the midst of the fire. And in verse 24, Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished, and rose up in haste, and spake, and said unto the, his counselor, Did not we uh, cast three men bound in, into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. And he answered and said, Lo, he said, hey, y'all come here and look. I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth man is like the Son of God. They, listen, they were walking around in the midst of that fire. People, they were content down there. They were content. They had no fire, they had no field of the fire on them. They were suffering, and they were in the presence of the Lord. Now you can you can say what you want to, and, and but this is a picture this e this morning of even if we have to die, even if we have to die in this. Listen, we're still in the presence of the Lord, Amen. and we're enjoying this thing. We 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 have we don't have this pain like a lost person does. We enjoy being with the Lord. And they were at peace in this, and he says here, and, 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 he, and, and he looks in there and sees this and calls all of them together, and he says, hey, there's four men down here. Where's that other fourth one? And notice what he says. He says, 
The fourth man is like the Son of God. Now, where did he get that from? Well, somebody, some or another, had said something to him, and I believe old Daniel had talked to him about the Son of God, but he says he looks like the Son of God. And then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fire, fire furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you servants of the Most High God. Now you notice in all of these things, as he referred to God, he never once said, my God. He never once offered anything in, 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 in evidence of saying that he accepted the fact that that was the, that was the God of all salvation. He never, but then he says here in verse, uh, the latter part of, uh, of uh, 26, he says, to talking to them, he says, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And he says here that they, they just walk right out. And, and this is something this morning that I would like to impress on you this morning. When you're in the fire, people, we get in the fire. Amen. If it's not, if, you know, we, we disobey God, we get chastised for it. And listen, we need help during that chastisement. And even that, when we get in trouble other ways, and we're persecuted, we're in the fire, and we need help for that also. And listen, don't ever forget who your God is. Amen. And don't forget the power that he has and how that he can He can lift you up, he can help you, he can bring you out of the fire. Because he says here, he says, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego come forth of the midst of the fire, and the princes, and the governors, and the captains, and the king, counselors, Again, gathering together, saw these men upon whose body the fire had no power. Amen. Nor was a hair of her they, of their head changed. Uh, no. Neither was their coat changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, "Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Amen. who has sent his angel and delivered his servant who trusted in him." So. Again, he said, bless, bless his third God. But he he don't say anything this morning about wanting to know that God. He don't say anything about, oh, uh, would you tell me about your God? He, he never said anything like that at all. And so he was not he was not completely changed about this miracle that he saw. But you would think this morning, if you've seen something like this, if you've seen something like that, it would make a change in your life. If you're seen, if you're seen coming the river open up and people going across it, you'd know something was happening. Mm -hmm. But listen, people don't people don't understand it, and the thing of it is, people can't understand it without the without the help of God. Right. And without the Holy Spirit and without uh, some indication because I don't know I, I, I don't know what ever happened then. Whatever happened to him, but uh, but it don't ever. As far as I can tell, it don't ever say anything about him. But anyway, the uh, the, uh, the they all saw this, and there wasn't any smell or smoke even on them. And listen, then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, "Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, has sent His angel. The, the Lord has sent His angel, and and and, and servant that trusted in Him, and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that." They might not serve nor worship any god except their own. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, just their god, shall be cut in pieces, and their house shall be made a dunghill, because they, there is no other god that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. So we see that there was a there was a change towards them, but I don't think that Nebuchadnezzar ever realized what he had saw. I don't, I, I don't realize it. I don't think that he ever realized anything about what what faced him or what he what kind of an opportunity because this man had an opportunity there to profess the Lord Jesus Christ or, or, or God uh, uh, as his, uh, 
is God, but he didn't do it. And so uh, we don't know what ever happened. But anyway, uh, this is this is what we wanted you to understand and see this morning. And hopefully, you know, when when the time comes that uh, you're you're going through these problems, and it, you know, and it may not be sure it will be I hope it won't be it's this serious, but the thing of it, when you have your problems, remember that God is always 